Welcome to our motorcycle and travel channel. We are doing something a little different this time and in this video we are winter exploring areas to ride our motorcycles and to camp for next season. We will stop at an abandoned lumber mill, lost in time homesteads, forgotten schoolhouses and scenic ranch lands that fill the landscape and onto the ghost towns of Cheesaw and Molson. We have some fun still shots and drone footage, and as always, a little history of the area along the way. The ghost towns are filled with captivating stories, and we couldn't have asked for a better travel day. We just stopped by the side of the road. It looks like an old lumber mill of some kind and the gentleman didn't mind us taking some photos at all. So we're just gonna take a little look. We have arrived at the town of Cheesaw. It's a little ghost town, not much remains, and I'll give you a little bit of history on it as well. Beautiful drive up, there's a great little canyon you drive through and along the lake. It's absolutely scenic and historic as well. Chisaw, Washington was grown from the gold rush. In 1896, a Chinese man and his Native American wife lived on the famed Myers Creek. It became a mining center and was named Chisaw after its longtime resident. Chisaw had a store, a post office, an assay office, several saloons, and a land commission office, several log buildings, and a three-story hotel. This tiny town is nestled in the Okanagan Highlands. The area opened to homesteading in the 1900s and a school was built in 1906. By 1914, mining had died out and the schoolhouse was abandoned in 1943. The town has a rich history with only a few scattered buildings and about 200 friendly residents in the area that remain today. The gold rush years were short-lived and settlers moved on in search of new opportunities leaving farms, buildings abandoned. Abandoned mining communities and ghost towns are set against some of the most beautiful natural terrain.
Welcome to Old Molson. It was founded in 1900 and was a lively mining camp until a farmer claimed the whole town as part of his homestead. While the dispute raged, disgusted citizens founded New Molson half a mile north. People, businesses, post office, everything moved to the New Molson. And its railway station, at an elevation of 3,700 feet, was the highest in the state. The original Molson faded away, but its memories linger. They've done a fabulous job of giving you a little history of Chisaw, the whole area, and all the legends and newspaper articles and old photos. You can walk into any of these little buildings and they are absolutely full of information. And I love this with the old lawman of Molson and constables and sheriffs. Crooks, cops and courts. This was the grain wagon of Jess J.C. Zagger, and he used to haul the grain to the threshing machines. I believe this is an ammonia compressor for the meat market. This bell is from the Chisaw School that was built in 1905 to 1906. So much history and if only these machines and carts could talk. Molson is full of treasures from its past, and the town was originally founded in 1900, as I mentioned earlier. At that time, George Meacham promoted a mining and townsite venture to the Molson family of Montreal, Quebec, who operated the largest brewing company in Canada and owned the Molson Bank at that time. The venture built several businesses, buildings, and was booming. 
mining claims and prospecting failed to develop and the Molson Company pulled the backing and the town died in 1901. With a few remaining residents, they were furthered by land title difficulties and the town had to be moved half a mile north to establish a new town in 1909. The Walker and Odell Homestead, 1900 to 1906. The Molson Schoolhouse is now a museum and proud of their past and has been receiving visitors since 1982, following its closing to students in 1969. If you decide a visit to this town, make sure you give yourself enough time to spend the entire day. There's so much to see as you step back into the past. As we continue and travel towards Nighthawk to cross back into Canada and home, we can't help missing our motorcycles and have found quite a few scenic spots for camping in along the river and in the canyon that runs towards the border. There seems to be plenty of forestry campsites that have good trees for hanging our hammocks and are just waiting for us to come back and visit. Next time when we ride through, we will stop and visit the historic spots of Nighthawk and you can look forward to that this coming season. Thank you again for watching and please continue to explore history with us as we travel. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and check back soon for more videos on this channel. Please leave a comment and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Bye for now.